nothing like living a simple life. Something out those aches and pains from working on the farm. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms, and here we are back at Falls River, Massachusetts with the USS Lionfish. This World War II Balo class submarine has definitely seen better days. I have had the honor of being on quite a few subs over the years. I usually try to visit any World War II or Korean memorial if I can get around to it if I'm in the area. And I've had the pleasure of being on several World War II era subs. This one on the inside is gorgeous as we take a look through here when we first enter. But the outside definitely is hurting and needs some restoration work. They were in the middle of doing some, but let's check this thing out. And I don't really know that I need to narrate a lot of it, but uh, I'll kind of walk you through. As you come down the stairs in the uh, fore section, you can see the forward torpedo room here. A couple of beauties sitting there waiting to be loaded into the tubes. And uh, area forward of that was off limits, but you can see the launch tubes and, of course, the equipment. There's our back hatch, or front hatch, I guess it would be. Here's a peek through the, uh, through the gate there so you can get a better look at the forward tubes here. And there was some signs saying that uh, a lot of the sub guys would actually sleep on top of the torpedoes just to... This was, this was their bunkhouse. This is where they worked. This is where they played. And this is where they slept. You look at the bundling of cables. You know, all from, like, I think this ship was built in 43. And stuffed down there at the bottom is our toilet. So, I mean, they literally packed it in. Here's our entire galley. Uh, amazing that the chef could get, you know, 50 or 60 men fed in a room that size. My understanding is they would pack the floors with food. So you were actually starting off your cruises. Those those walkways would be boxes and boxes of food. And as the uh, mission went on, you know, you lowered yourself down. So you kind of had to hunch over in the beginning there. And here's senior staff mess room. And uh, some of the sleeping arrangements for the higher ups. They got their own little fold up desk there. The captain's room here is uh, comically small, but I mean, this is this is what they were facing. This was considered luxury for the captain at the time. And of course, I doubt he spent a whole lot of time in there with the operation of the ship, probably soaking up most of his time. And like I said, the inside of this ship is just beautifully preserved. Um, really is pretty. I know there are several subs, uh, Gato class and Balo class subs, that uh, they still have functioning engines because you'll see some videos online of them being fired up every once in a while. I don't know that the Lionfish is one of those, but certainly the equipment appears to be in good enough condition that if you wanted to uh, fire things up, you probably could. And it's tight quarters, so I'm sorry they didn't get great footage of this. It's just really difficult to uh, to film a lot of it. But There's our uh, radio room, decoding room. I'm tightly packed in there as well, but lots of equipment. And here's the second galley. This is the uh, the, may, uh, the mess hall for, for the regular staff. Laundry. You can see it's a ring dryer. And here we come with the engine room. And, uh, you know, they cut away one of these engines so you could see the uh, crank shaft and the connecting rods and everything in there. But beautifully designed, beautiful engines. And meticulously maintained. You can see that no rust anywhere on this ship on the inside. So here's our main engine room. One, twin engines. And look at the placard still on there. Some of the many, many gauges and dials that were equipped in this ship. The engine room of this compared to the battleship is you know, almost comical. The, the battleship, so many dobs, knobs and dials and pressure relief valves and hoses. And so the submarine was eloquently laid out comparatively. Speed and engine controls here.
just a gorgeous piece of history. If you've never been on one of these things, um, you really ought to try it out sometime. There's a the machine room, so you can make some parts. Obviously, the battleship having the major machine shop in it, but this, this one here just probably parts to repair little pieces. And here's a breakdown of one of the subs, uh, torpedoes. You know, the U.S., for all the victories we had, our submarine torpedoes in World War II were really not all that great. They were not the most reliable. A lot of them failed to detonate or missed their mark uh, because of operational errors. But I think we figured it out by the end, anyway. It's pretty neat seeing inside of that. And the warhead only takes up a little bit of room there. And here we are with the uh, aft torpedo room. Another four barrels. Anyway, it's not a terribly long video, but I did want to show it off. The battleship was, obviously, people go to Battleship Cove to see the battleship. But this thing was, this thing was definitely worth taking a look at. Don't judge it by its exterior. I guess that'll do it for today, my friends. Take care.